In a world where cybercrime continues to just skyrocket year over year, many people are trying to figure out ways to protect their online identities, their personal passwords, their personal information, and today we're going to take a deeper dive into that, but we're going to be taking a closer look at Sticky Password, so let's dive right into it. So Sticky Password is actually a really old password manager software. Um, it's actually celebrating 20 years, uh, 21 years now actually as recording this video. But um, Sticky Password is a great solution if you're looking to secure you know, your passwords and some of your personal data. Um, quickly, if I hover over the, the feature section here, you can see uh, it has you know, your auto login. That's what you'd expect, a password generator, your digital wallet, secure notes, emergency access, uh, platforms and browsers so you can share your passwords and information between uh, different software or your different you know mobile or, or tablets um, and then USB password manager so it comes with a lot of the the bare bone features that you expect from you know some of the more modern password managers but um, I think it's a great solution it's been around for for, for forever um, there are some unique use cases for this so for example if you are on a team or let's just say you want to buy um, you know a lifetime supply this is probably not a bad option for you so that's pretty much a high level of what Sticky Password is. Let's get into how to install it and how to get started. Okay, first things first, we're gonna have to go to the Sticky Password website. Grab the link in the description. Um, it'll get you to this website here. Um, so first thing we're gonna do here is we're gonna download the Sticky Password software. So we're gonna click the button here and we'll see it downloading on the bottom left. Download it already. So what we'll do is we'll just quickly install it on our Windows machine here. And then uh, once this is done, I'll show you guys how to operate this software. So as you can see, I'm just going through the software agreement. All right, no more forgotten passwords with sticky passwords. Go to next, next, next. Let's create a new account. All right, type in our password one more time. I understand my master password is not stored anywhere. I am the only one who knows my master password. If I forget my password, there's no way to recover my data. Super important, guys. Make sure you read that and understand it. Cloud Sync, we can turn that on. Basically, allows you to share your passwords um, between your different devices. We're going to turn that on. All right, and last step here is to integrate the software into our browsers. I don't really use Internet Explorer, so I'm going to uncheck that. I do use Google Chrome, so I am going to make sure that's checked. Go to Web Store, Sticky Password Manager. We're going to add to Chrome. We'll see in the top right corner, it has appeared here. Sticky Password Manager and Save has been added to Chrome. So now if we click on this little uh, puzzle piece here, we can see the extension was installed. I'm going to click this little pin item here. Basically, it allows the uh, icon to show up there. So uh, we're going to go in here and uh, fill this out quickly, and then we'll resume. Okay, and just like that, we are all set, just like the software says. All right, so we're using the free account right now, so we're going to hit Start here. And it's really simple, honestly, to use. You've got uh, a couple of items on the side here. You've got your web accounts. You can add your passwords here for your web type stuff. Um, you've got your app accounts here for some of the apps you use on your computer. Um, you've got different identities here. Bookmarks, secure memos. I actually like the secure memos feature. I like to put my personal information in there that I need to go back and revisit a couple times a year. Um, so that's a nice little feature. And then sharing center. 
we can add emergency contacts. I think we can add um, other users. Yep. So this is basically uh, the main uh, software, and there's a lot of stuff you can do with it. To provide a real life example, let's say we want to add a eBay account and then use that stored eBay account to log in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this web accounts tab on the left hand side, click on the add web account button, and then enter the information here. The website is going to be ebay.com, login is going to be my uh, username, and then password is obviously your password. So now we can see that the eBay password or the eBay account rather was added here. So let's click the launch button and see what happens. Okay, we're quickly taken to eBay.com and if we click on the sign in button up here. Oh, okay, so it automatically generated my username. If I hit continue. Oh, it's sticky password is logging you in. We've entered the password. And just like that, I'm in. I didn't have to type in my password at all. So this is a perfect real world example of, you know, how you can use sticky password to store and then pull your passwords. So there you go. There's sticky password. As you can see, it comes with a lot of bare bone features that a lot of other password managers offer. Um, sticky password is a little bit more dated than the other ones. And so that's why it's a little bit more bare bones. But I do think that you do get a lot of value for what you pay for if you do decide that you want to use Sticky Password. Go ahead, grab the link in the description to check them out further. Other than that, guys, thanks for watching.